I want to welcome everybody to um, my how-to with um, Believe in Magic of Christmas um, DIY that I have done. Um, you are going to need a few things. You're going to need a platter or a tray from the Dollar Tree. Um, also, you're going to need a bucket. And you're also going to need, I used um, the actual wreath for a candy cane. And the reason why is because I wanted more structure to actually be able to glue uh, the ornaments to. Also, um, I got one of the weights for the balloons to help me weigh down the center. I, um, I went through, in the beginning, just three tubes of tubes. And because I want it to be so tall, I needed more. So I had to go back out and get some more um, bulbs. Also, um, I sprayed the... the oh, I'm like lost for words today. Um, I've had so many people respond to this. It's just been amazing. I really am very thankful for every single one of you. Um, liking my um my project um it will be a centerpiece of my kitchen table which will be a, definitely a conversation piece um but i did get a weight from dollar tree it was a buck and it was for the balloons and i took it apart and took off the black because i really did not like the fact that um you could see the black it would camouflage so i actually um wrapped it inside of a bag and put it in the middle and I weighed it down. I bent the um, the reef of the candy cane to the level and the scale I wanted it. I definitely wanted it to be taller than a foot um, off the table and I know that sounds really so I just didn't want a low profile um, design. I wanted it to be high so it looked like it was defeating gravity which is something that this whole um, thing is supposed to do. So in the course of doing this, I have burnt my finger a couple of times and have a really nice, beautiful blister from it. Um, but it's been exciting. I love it. Um, I may do another one. And maybe a different color scheme. I love the, um, the earth tones and the bronzes and the rose golds. Um, it pretty much goes with my home. So I was excited when I saw those uh, bulbs, so I had to snatch them up. I also went to uh, Myers, and they had the rose gold in stars. And I thought, oh, that would fit in those areas that are really small that the bulbs wouldn't connect to. So I figured fitting those in in really weird areas would make it fit in better. So I thought different bulbs is perfect, a different size, a different um, look, as long as it stayed within my color scheme I was looking for. So that's what I did. Um, so I would say just watch. Um, I did first glue the, um, the bucket, hot glued it to the frame, and then <laughs> while I was putting on my decals, um, off my Cricut it fell off so then I had to zip tie it which is perfect because now I know it's not going to go anywhere and um, you'll see where I mess up a little bit in here you'll see where I glue my finger <laughs> and all the fun stuff and then I had to get a band-aid um, but this was a great experience and I really enjoyed it and I would do it again if I had to um,
It all fell. Had to go and buy some more um, because, as you may see, I still have a lot more area to fill in. And I had to zip tie the basket on. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of glue as well. Um, but I had to go and buy some more ornaments. So it was my Dollar Tree trip last night just to make sure I have enough to cover everything. Um...
I love sharing on um, the Dollar Tree crafting um, on Facebook. It's It was great experience. I really love everybody um, and I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. So I will do more um, challenging things because I love, I love doing that kind of stuff. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate everybody that has responded and um, Let's believe in the magic of Christmas. Have a blessed holidays. Thanks everybody, bye-bye. Hi, my name is Robin, and this is Coco. This is our 50th cut. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. Please comment below. That way she don't have to do this no more. Okay, hopefully.